Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new, make sure you uh, like and subscribe and now uh, welcome. If, um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If there are videos you want to see me make, leave them down in the uh, description below too. So as always, let's jump uh, right into it. So um, this is just kind of a, a quick little tutorial on uh, book map, um, how to use it. Just try and give information um, of uh, tools that I kind of use on a daily basis and all that. So um, first things first, um, it, a book map is just essentially a price, um, and for me it's the S&P E-minis um, of uh, the dome, right? It's uh, limit prices above, limit prices below uh, the, the market. Um, so let's uh, jump into it here. Uh, you could pan, right? If you uh, left click this, you can move this to the left or right to kind of see what's going on. Zoom in, zoom out. And then um, right here, if I want to take a screenshot, right? I could just take a screenshot if I want to post it to Twitter, Facebook, upload, uh, copy, anything like that. I'm able to do something very quick, simple like that. Um, over here under study configurations, Right. If we left click that, um, these are all the different things you could do. So if I want to actually add candles, right, look at this. I can actually add candlesticks to the uh, chart, which is a uh, pretty cool. So instead of just seeing lines, I can actually see candlesticks, too. Um, if you click on it, you could kind of there's all the options, how big, small, time frame, anything like that. Um, next, there's the uh, correlation tracker. Okay, if, if you want, um, it just kind of correlates with uh, other products if you want. Um, cumulative volume delta, if you want to see that. And this is kind of what it looks like down here. I personally never use it um, just because it's more information than what I need. Um, if, if anything, it just kind of confuses me, but some people love it. Um, and then we have the heat map, iceberg, large lot tracker, right? Um, things like the large lot tracker is really cool because it kind of shows you, um, where there are large lots, like right here, it's very hard to see, um, kind of a little black dot okay usually that's telling you that there's a big one order so somebody has like maybe um of this 250 there might be 75 contracts on just one lot um next let's get rid of this because we really don't want that let's close this real quick um, so going back, um, we, you also have a large trade alert order book, um, theoretical averages, VWAP volume bars, right? Volume dots, if you want, um, that you could do, right? So you could see volume, um, via the dots. Okay. Like, okay. Hey, there was a big amount here. Um, again, Something else it doesn't really help me in any way. I like this volume more for a capitulation of moves. And then um, volume and balance if, it, if you want to see uh, things like that. So it's really cool to be able to have, to be able to customize book map the way you want. Um, next over here, let's drop this guy down. Next, um, if you had multiple charts, you could synchronize the charts. Um, here, contrast, right, which is the color of all this with this. So I could kind of make it darker, brighter, things like that, right? Um, so I kind of like it right here. Uh, keep things simple. Uh, drawing tools, right? If you want to draw lines, I could draw trend lines directly through here, things like that, um, which is kind of really helpful if you want that. If I want to kind of delete them, I could delete them. I could show nothing. Clear drawings, yes. Okay. Um, 
Next, data loop. So if I put my mouse over, you have a data loop of different things. Um, it tells you what the uh, the date, the time, bit, how many were on at the bid, the last price on the ask, and vice versa. Crosshairs, if you want crosshairs to kind of match things up, it's there. Um, time slices, right? You can kind of change this with uh, your time slices. Um, like if I just want to see the last one minute or whatever it's all up to you um, again it's very customizable of what you want and then um, configure visible components so if I want to see buy sell orders if I want to see again candlestick bars things like that uh, heat map all these different things right so it's very very um, kind of customizable in that way so and then let's close this and then if I want to see the trade control panel okay and this is if I want to see a dome right this is uh, something really cool I can also do the uh, chart or do it both and that's if I want to see an order over here on the dome and then it very customizable I could do OCO and this APIs uh, directly with what's going on in your uh, order book to or your broker that you actually trade with um, in addition uh, over here if we right click okay just come over here we can insert a column right and then if I want I could sit there and say hey let's see um, the volume trade counts quotas all these different things going on right but also uh, there's actually a trading dome which is really cool so if I want to be able to just do like a uh, price dome and place orders directly in here I could do something like that so um, also this is the CVP is kind of like your market profile and I could say hey I want to see a market profile of all the time since I've turned it on or I could just say hey how much just in this right here right if I could say hey I want to see how many traded just right let's turn this off I just want to see how many contracts traded here overall right and just these two it'll tell me 35 now once this goes watch this it'll kind of drop down 15 contracts here once that's done it'll go to zero so it's very very customizable you could show uh, your positions average price buy sell cancel orders things like that and then you also have your uh, connections with uh, different brokers right so if you have multiple uh, connections these are all the different brokers uh, stage 5 GDAX interactive ninja um, ok coin all these different things so it's really really customizable settings right and then if you want to kind of change colors just go to the color setting you could change colors of pretty much this entire thing really really great piece of a uh, software um, to be able to kind of see um, make book map what you want make it very very customizable they also have um, other like a API add-ons right so here are some API where you could say hey um, add this or that uh, they also have an entire library where you can actually do certain things um, and it, again it, your account information that you're linked up with um, with the help user guides right if you want to see release notes update things like that if you want to save your workspaces right open workspace you could save them um, I, I've done multiple workspaces over the years um, if you want to kind of get rid of any of these you could just right click and then hide column and it'll hide it and this essentially is my level two right um, of, of kind of this right so if I want to come up here 
okay, and see what my level two is, I see the same orders here, right? So, so you literally don't even need something like this, a dome through your broker. I use stage five, um, for a lot of my uh, futures trades. And so I, if I really wanted to, I could just use this. This just visually tells me like this order has been here for a while, right? This 239. Well, as we start to move higher, we'll see if he's still there. Because if he is, then that's probably a real order. But sometimes you'll just see kind of flashes, right? Like somebody will flash a big order right there and then. Um, and you're like, okay, that's not a real order. Things like that. So, but again, I hope that helps. This is kind of a tutorial on how to use a book map. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.